welcome back everybody to another episode where today we're going to be playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So, today I want to go ahead and step out of the comfort zone that is Minecraft on this channel and go ahead and change it up a little bit, do some Call of Duty, and basically I want to use this video kind of like as a two cents episode where I'm going to be going ahead and telling you what I think about the game, uh, what I think the Sledgehammer did good, what I think that they did bad, and also basically just kind of overall just tell you how much better it is there isn't really actually almost that much that's bad it's actually mostly pretty good in my eyes so i want to go ahead and do a couple little gameplays of it but this being the introduction episode i want to ask you guys if you would like me to do commentary episodes of this or if you would rather me just do highlight non-commentary maybe some techno music or something like that whatever you guys are into i have no idea but just let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and then pretty much I will do whatever you guys want me to do, except strip for you guys, because that is just weird. Now, I would like to go ahead and start out by saying, Sledgehammer, you did an amazing job. Did absolutely amazing, did everything right. Except for one thing, you still made it for past gen. Not, not, I'm still not okay with that. I'm, I'm not. I really, really thought maybe a year later we would be going to strictly next gen. But unfortunately, we're still on past and current gen. Which thus means that it's kind of got those old style graphics still. I think that the graphics on this multiplayer could be a lot better. Possibly Levolution coming into this wouldn't be bad either. But we gotta deal with what we got. So, uh, let's go ahead and use the AK-12, and before we do Get anything there, else, we want to make sure we mute Won't everybody, mute, 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 and goodbye. So, exoskeleton suit, best thing in the world to me anymore. I'm not sure how Call of Duty is actually going to go back to not having these things. You know, honestly, it's absolutely, oh, he's following Okay. Because seriously, the game has become so much better. I mean, I can slide right in here. And then I can be like, okay, he's dead. Um, let's just slide down here. I want to do like a really, really good example. Slide. And then kill. It feels a lot more epic and a lot. A lot. It's just epic. I'm, I'm just going to put it that way. It's epic. You feel like you're in an action movie. You're like, slide in, and then you're just like, uh, okay, I can, I can monkey see a monkey do that. Double jump. Feels that. Oh, hello. I'll get away from you. But it's just amazing. It's a, it's a multiplayer action film is what it is. Slide. Friendly UAV above. And I also like that the UAV has that now. Oh, hello, 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 hello. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good. Okay, let's follow. But overall, it's just... It, it's a lot... Oh, God. It's a lot more fun having this. Because it makes it so much more dynamic, so much more strategic. It isn't just your regular shooter anymore. It is strategy. It's you got to make sure that you are watching everywhere because there's so many more places that you can get to. Hello. And you killed me. Dang it. Uh, we're 4-4. Four four. We're not bad. Just as so long as I go even, that's all that matters to me. Oh, oh. Hello. I saw you. Yeah, I didn't miss you. But, I mean, seriously, if you have not gotten this game and you have been contemplating getting it, I would definitely suggest to get it. Because I really wasn't going to get this. I was going to protest Call of Duty after Ghost, because Ghost disappointed me so much. It was just... It was terrible to me. It was absolutely dreadful that they were actually selling that to us. The multiplayer 
was the same thing as it's always been. The story is so predictable. I was, I was seriously about done with Call of Duty. I was going to make the switch to Battlefield for sure. But then I saw the gameplay for this and I was like, let's give it another shot. And I'm not disappointed at all. And I will tell you this much, I did not pay full price for this. I actually got this on eBay for actually $45. It's the same week, it's day one edition. But it's, it's, it is amazing. Sledgehammer Games did an awesome job on this. And we're actually going to do one more game really quick. That one seemed a little bit short. So I want to go ahead and do one more. But overall, the, the weapons in this, they've got a really, really good variety. And not to mention, I like that they brought back the 13th slot. That makes it quite... Actually, I think it was 10 before. I think it was you could only have 10 things before. But I like this, this idea that you can have three things on your gun at any time you can have um, you can have a secondary weapon as a primary weapon oh wait no swap that around you can have a primary weapon for your secondary we weapon uh, the exo abilities I don't really use those honestly but everything is just it's very very well balanced and not really any person has an advantage over anybody else so I mean, so long as I'm not given a sniper class, I can do pretty good. And it's really, really bad because I'm a Doctor Who fan, and one of the first little, uh, the little supply crates or whatever they're called, I got a sniper called the Doctor, as I can show you when I pick my class here. And I used it for a whole game, went so negative, but I was like, it is a, it is a very, oh, we didn't get in. But this one. It is, it is a very, very good gun. It's very, very powerful. And it's one-hit KOs. I love it. But honestly, I am not that good with snipers at all. And I wish I was. Really, really wish I was. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. There I am. I like my face mask, I'll, I'll tell you that much. They, like, being able to customize, like, what your character looks like, that was also a really, really nice touch that they made. And I do like... Can I, can I mute you? I would love to mute you. Thank you. Mute, mute. Anybody else want muted? Yeah, you. One last one. There we go. Oh, that's a cool one. Eh. Yes. Please. I would love to have that. Uh, that's basically like the one I have. Nope. Nope. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Mortal Kombat. That is really Mortal Kombat. If that is not supposed to be Mortal Kombat, I have no idea what the heck that is. Okay, okay now we're getting it. But overall, the classes are just... I prefer this over past ways that they've had it before. Like the way that they have it just you can get like like the doctor for example. That gun has a standard version and then you have these different modifications to the weapons that have uh, benefits to it and it also has negatives to it giving more weapon choices that you can get but you can only get those from those little supply crates. It's a new dynamic to the game that I do like. Like the gun that I'm using right now, which hopefully we'll see this time. Yes, we did get in. Is the hair trigger. It's not the regular, it's the hair trigger. Team Deathmatch. I like this one quite a bit more. And I can't remember what the difference is. All I know is that I'm getting a lot more kills with it. So, uh, hopefully we'll do pretty good this round. Um... I'm trying to think where to... Yeah, it's right over here. If I want to get first blood, I've pretty much figured out the best spots to get it. Unfortunately, the best spot is actually over on the other side of this map. At least... Dang it. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm in the lead. <laughs> 
which I shouldn't be happy about that. But I do do love this multiplayer though. Hello, 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 hello. Do you please die? Wait, did I get him? Haha, I did get him. That was actually my first Simtex kill. I'm so happy. But my ultimate goal, I don't even care if I only get one. I just want to stick somebody with a Simtex. That's all I want. It's just to stick somebody with a Simtex. Hello, you're dead. Will we take Oh yes, we have taken. But I'm gonna be saying but a lot during this. We've lost control. Oh, we'll get it back. Oh, dang it! But I just love how dynamic the game is. It's so much better. I mean, oh god, that was a little bit weird. But the whole thing that you can go boom, and then no, I don't want in the air. In an instant. The whole thing that you can go in the air. And the whole thing. Here, let me try and do this. Come on. Come on, pop your head right around that corner. You can go in here, you can slide, and you can be like, smash, 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 double kill. Just like that. That wasn't a pretty double kill, but it was a double kill nonetheless. Hello, hello. Oh my god, we're doing okay. We're not doing bad. Amazing. Um, but the whole thing that you can do stuff like that, and like if you're in the middle of gunfire, which I might be here in a second, like, I mean, you're not totally screwed. You can slide right behind walls and be perfectly safe Enemy for a couple UAV of seconds online. and try and heal yourself. Take the advantage. Oh, I wanted that kill so bad. There you go. There you go. Five kills. Well, let's get higher. Ready for action. Higher than six. We can get higher than seven. We can get higher than eight. Actually, I don't think we can. I think this is about my limit. Pretty sure this is pretty much as high as I've ever gotten on a kill streak. It's eight. Nine. UAV is online. Oh man, this is good. This is really good. Let's go ahead and drop a uh... friendly XS1 Falcon inbound. Okay. Oh, that was kind of a waste. Not gonna lie. Oh, the, oh, he was friendly. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop that in. Let it be kind of a boy for us. Okay, come on. We want to get to a 10 kill streak. Or not, well, not kill streak, but. I don't know, I guess it doesn't kill streak, but you don't get anything for it. <laughs> ah, no! We were one short! We were one short! Okay, I'm still happy though. I've never actually gotten that many kills in a row. Sure, pick. You're dead. But honestly, you don't have to be good at this game. You don't have to be bad at this game. Well, actually, maybe that's not the way to put it. You don't have to be good at this game to be good at this game. It is well balanced. Anybody can pick up the controller just so long as it's not your mother. Or my mother, at least. Jesus. Whoa. Was that the We're same thing that fight. I had? Launching care that was package. interesting. What the hell is it? I still have no idea what the heck that is. But it's cool looking. Okay. You're dead. But I do. Ah. 
Not bad. I just want to kill people. That's all. Perfectly healthy. Friendly warbird in the air. Warbird I'm support not... requested. Our UAV is online. I've been in that thing before, and I'm not a help at all. Ever. What the heck is that guy doing? This game, though, honestly, is so worth 60 bucks. I just wish that I could have like had like a trial of this first, and then I would have bought it for sure, instead of buying this and the fear that it was going to be like Ghost again. Because I seriously was very, very fearful that I was going to be very disappointed with this. Thankfully, I am very, very happy with this. We are four kills away from winning. Heck yes. Come on, we can do this. Let's try and get the final kill. I want to, I really, really would like to get the final kill cam. Okay. If we want the final kill cam, I had to die there. Okay, we're two away. I need to start finding a guy now. Come on, like right here. Ah, oh, no. No, we're not going to get it. There's no way that we're going to be able to get it. Yeah, okay. But, good that was a good game. Alice. That was honestly a good game. We did, we did freaking work. But the game is... I, I'm trying to think of like the best way to say it. Oh, look at us, number one. But we... We did good. And I hope... I hope that when they add DLC, that they're not going to add more guns that are going to be too OP and everything like that. Because the one thing that does piss me off about Call of Duty, and it will forever, is all the DLC and the new maps and everything like that. That everyone is like, oh, I want that. And I'm just over here like, I don't. It's not worth 20 bucks every single time. If they could just release the game with the maps it was supposed to have... I would be perfectly happy and then if you want to pay for like skins and stuff like that that's on you but if you're taking away content from the game that will just always annoy the heck out of me no matter what game it is um, I personally stand by N Nintendo's view of if you if they think that it is worth money then they will charge but most of their stuff for add-ons is free and I personally love that so, I'm going to stop it there, though. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this episode. Do be sure to let me know what you think, though. Do you want commentary? Would you not like commentary? I can promise you this much. If you want me to do commentary, it's probably going to be a lot better than that because that was basically just me giving my two cents about what I think about the game overall. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Nothing's ever perfect. It's 9 out of 10 for me. But, thank you guys very, very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys back here for the next episode.